Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Bonnie. In this video, I'm going to show you what I ate this week. I recently started tracking my food in iTrack Bites, and to keep myself accountable, I went ahead and made video of everything that I ate and tracked everything that I ate. And surprise, surprise, at the end of the week, I lost four pounds. So yay! So I'm really excited, and I'm I'm looking forward to making some healthy lifestyle changes and. If you like these types of videos, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I hope you stick with me for this journey. Good morning, guys. This morning I'm having a Premier Protein coffee. I'm sure all of you have seen this hack on YouTube, but it's just basically adding Premier Protein to your morning iced coffee. I add an extra espresso for bitterness. And for this morning, my total is two bites. For lunch, I'm having this pastaroni cup. This is the Parmesan and Romano flavor. I'm having it alongside a turkey wrap with this shredded turkey that I get from Safeway. This time it was really dry, so I added some barbecue sauce to kind of help it out, but it was kind of rough to get through, but making it in a wrap kind of helped. This is the barbecue sauce that I used. I only used one teaspoon just to kind of add some flavor and moisture, and it was only one bite for the, for the barbecue sauce, but the wraps that I use are the carb balance variety. I use all the different flavors. I pretty much just like the white, I think, best. But this is the wrap as I'm putting it together. As you can see, very simple, using up some greens. And total for this meal, 11 bites. My morning snack, I had this lovely apple. It's great to have apples this time of year or really any. I like to slice them in half when I bring them to work. It just makes them easier to eat. Total for this snack, zero bites. For dinner, I had this chicken tikka masala that I meal prepped in the crock pot. I'll link the video down below. It's one of my favorite meal preps right now. It was so good. I enjoyed it when I made it and I'm enjoying it again this time. Total bites for this meal, 12 bites. My dessert tonight was these half moon cookies. I just had one for dessert, but I bought them for Halloween to eat with a friend, but plans changed, so I'm working on them during the week. But these were really good. They kind of had a little bit of a lemon flavor. I'd definitely eat them again if, if I got the chance, but I'm sure they're seasonal as many Trader Joe's options are. Total bites for dessert, five bites. On Tuesday, I decided to have a good old-fashioned cup of coffee rather than the Premier Protein coffee. It was really good. I was happy to find out that this silk creamer that I've been using is only one point per tablespoon. And I usually use about three tablespoons, but sometimes I don't finish a whole cup, especially since I've had my surgery. I just can't hold as much coffee in the morning. So I counted it as two bites because I think I left a whole tablespoon in there but my total for this cup of coffee, two bites. For breakfast, I made a very simple egg burrito consisting of one egg, one potato latke on some greens wrapped in a carb balanced tortilla. A little on the plain side, but still good. Six bites total. It was a cold and rainy day, so I had a can of soup and I had it alongside the Trader Joe's pumpkin tortillas. I've really been loving these. I hadn't tried them before because I thought they'd be sweet, but they're not sweet, they're savory, and they just go really well with anything. So I'll definitely be purchasing them again next season. I have some left. I think I bought a second bag, but anyway, the soup was really good. It hit the spot. Bites for this lunch, 11 bites, and I'm at 19 total. Late in the afternoon, I decided to have an orange. Oranges are easier to eat when I'm home. I feel like I don't like bringing them to work because I just get juice everywhere, but zero bites for this snack. I was still feeling hungry and not quite ready for dinner, so I went ahead and had one of these Chomps turkey sticks. One bite, that puts me at 20 bites total. I know this looks a little odd, but for dinner I had some toast. I just had this organic sourdough whole grain bread that I had, and then I topped it with a Smart Balance Light. Total for this dinner, five bites.
And of course I had room left over for one of my cookies. So I had another cookie. I really enjoyed it just like I enjoyed it every other time that I've had it. I love having a little treat every day, sometimes twice a day, but here they are, I'm making progress. This cookie is five bites, bringing me to 30 bites total. For breakfast on Wednesday, I had some more egg burritos. This time I added a little taco sauce to add some flavor, but very simple, just the eggs with some greens, added some taco sauce. I made two because I was working at a different hospital today, so I needed a lot of energy. We had a class that required some activity on our part, so both of these burritos kept me full for the morning. Total for this breakfast, eight bites. I didn't take any pictures at work, but this is the pasta salad that I brought. It is the Whole Foods sun-dried tomato and pesto pasta salad. It was really good. I had it with the leftover greens that I had. Hit the spot. Because it was just pasta, I went ahead and had it with a side of chicken that I had. I picked up some more shredded chicken. The turkey was just really dry, but the chicken was good from Whole Foods as well. And I just had that. I added some sauce from um, a buffalo chicken ranch wrap that I was making. I had some sauce left over. Total bites for this lunch, 10 bites, bringing me to 18 out of 30 total bites for the day so far. I got home from work. I went ahead and just had a carrot for a snack. It wasn't long before I was gonna have dinner, but I needed something to snack on just to kind of get me through. So I went ahead and had this carrot. I need to finish up the bag that's in my fridge. Total for this snack, zero bites. I was really tired after a long day of work, so for dinner I just had something convenient, the Chef Boyardee beef ravioli. I love these as just a quick convenient lunch or dinner or snack even. And I had them when I had surgery because I needed something easy and quick and didn't take a lot of effort and small. So total for this dinner, seven bites. And for dessert, once again, the half moon cookie. <laughs> so. This has just been my treat every night. I'm working on finishing the whole box. This cookie is five bites, bringing me to a total of 30 out of 30 bites for the day. For breakfast the next day, I realized I had missed my coffee the day prior when I worked at a different hospital. So I was really looking forward to this coffee. So I had the same thing, the iced coffee with Premier Protein. This time I used Dunkin' iced coffee, which I've never used before, as well as my Cafe Bustello Espresso and the caramel flavor with a little ice. Total for this breakfast, two bites. For lunch, I had my meal prep, the chicken tikka masala that I made in the crock pot. I'll link the recipe video down below, but it was so good, so tasty. Not regretting anything here. Total for this lunch, 12 bites. snack I had the pumpkin cobbler that I got from Trader Joe's earlier I finished it off I had had a few pieces already and I had the last piece today so this is a fourth of the cobbler of course I had to have some skim milk with the cobbler total for this snack 17 bites which puts me at 31 out of 30 total bites using one of my weekly bites I had another of my meal preps for the week. This was the buffalo chicken ranch salad that I made. It's kind of like a chicken salad with ranch and buffalo sauce. I put it in a container with some greens, a sliced up carb balanced tortilla that I just sliced to make it easy to eat with a fork. And that's it, easy, simple. Total for this meal, six bites. After my supper, I went ahead and had an apple. I was just still hungry. I needed a little something else. So I love these opal apples. Total for this snack, zero bites. Still hungry when I got home from work. So I went ahead and had these sweet and sour chicken pieces for a snack. The app said that these were about four bites. So that puts me at 41 bites. 41 out of 30 bites means I used 11 of my weekly bites. 11 of my 35 weekly bites. A new day, a new iced coffee. So I'm having the same iced coffee that I've been making. 
I do this a few times a week. I don't do it every single day. Sometimes the dairy is hard on my stomach, but this morning I was so tired. I went ahead and had two espresso packets in my coffee. That's what kind of day it was, but it was so worth it. And the coffee really did perk me up. Total for this breakfast, two bites. For lunch, I had the chicken tikka masala again. It was just as good this time as every time. Total for this lunch, 12 bites. For supper, I packed my buffalo ranch chicken salad that I made. I served it on the greens that I had with one of my carb balanced tortillas. I ate it with some of my Trader Joe's pumpkin tortilla chips that I've been loving. These are great this time of year, and I also had a carrot along with it. So, total for my supper, 10 bites, bringing me to a daily total of 24 bites. I was still hungry after I ate my supper, so I had a banana for zero bites. After the banana, I was still hungry, so I walked across the hospital to the snack machine and bought these baked ruffles. These are a go-to snack for me when I need something from the snack machine. They're five bites, so they don't do too much damage. On Saturday morning, I prepared iced coffee as usual, and I didn't drink much of it because this variety just never really set well with me. So I didn't finish it. I hadn't had one in a while, so I forgot that I didn't really like it. So I drank about half, I counted it as two bites, even though the carton is three bites if I drank all of it. For the lunch, I went out to eat with some friends. We went to a Thai restaurant, started off with the crab wontons. I had four for a total of 14 bites. I chose Pad Thai as my entree. I counted my portion as 12 bites according to the iTrack Bites app. I also had two spring rolls, which I counted as five bites according to the app. I only ate about a third of the order. Here it is, all steamy and delicious. So I took a lot home. I counted this meal as 31 bites, bringing me up to 33 of 30 bites for the day. This means that I used up three more of my weekly bites, bringing my total weekly bites up to 14. I didn't want to eat dinner because we ate a little bit later than I'm used to and I was super full. So I just had my two cookies for dessert. I had two of my half moon cookies for a total of 11 bites. This brings my daily total bites to 44 and my total weekly bites so far. Hmm. Total weekly bites, 25 out of 35. On Sunday, I started my morning off with Pete's coffee made in the Keurig. I added three tablespoons of my silk creamer for a total of three bites. For breakfast, I had this egg and smoked Gouda sandwich. I hadn't tried this before. It was pretty good. It just got kind of messy and melty in the microwave. This sandwich was a total of six bites. Mid-morning, I got to feeling kind of hungry, but it wasn't quite time for lunch, so I had some of these chips from the snack machine for a total of seven bites. For lunch, I packed my tried and true chicken tikka masala, and again, it did not disappoint. A very beige supper. I had what was left of the roasted tomato and pesto pasta salad from Whole Foods, along with some of the shredded chicken that I got from Whole Foods. I measured it out and it was six bites worth of the pasta and one bite of the chicken because I only ate half of that. I ended up skipping the banana and later on that night, I finished my half moon cookies. I had the last cookie for five bites. The cookie was five bites, bringing my daily total to 40 out of 30 bites for a grand total of 35 out of 35 weeklies used up. 